Hello, my name is Trudy and I'm going to take you through a wake up and work out non-impact standing exercise routine using a chair for support. So if you do just need a little bit of extra support, your balance isn't very good, um, just get a nice sturdy chair. So make sure it is quite a heavy chair, something that you can just rest your hand on to give yourself a little bit of support if you need it. So we're just gonna start with a march on the spot. So nice and easy, just start to march. Now you can swing the arms, you can make the movements as big or as small as you want today. And now we're gonna bring the arms up and down. Nice big deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. We wanna get everything moving, get the heart pumping, the blood pumping around the body. Four more. If you want to go slower than me, that is absolutely fine. Or if you want to go faster than me, how are you feeling today? We're going to go into a heel dig, heel and centre. So as you bring your heel forward, lift your toe and feel that lovely stretch down the back of your calf. Keep it going. And if you want a little bit more on your grounded leg, just start to bend your knee. Make sure that your knee is going to track over your toes. Last one. We step side to side. So a nice side to side movement. Again, you can take a really big step and you can sink down or you can keep it up. into a calf raise, up and down. So we've got our hands on our chair for support. And we're just gonna lift and lower those heels. Get some heat into those calves. Last one. Now we're gonna lift and hold. So the heels are up nice and high. Our back's nice and long. And just hold. Oh, those calves are feeling nice and warm. Bring them down. We're going to do some step out. Out and in. Out and in. Now you can sink down into the legs or you can just bring the legs out from side to side. Go at your current fitness levels. Now change the leg that's leading. Sink and lift. Sink and lift. Or step side to side. So we don't need a lot of space. We don't need to jump to get a good workout. Last one. Now we're going to twist and reach. Twist. Now notice how my hips are twisting. And as my hip twists, my heel is coming up. So I've got a nice rotation. Now you can keep it here and keep holding onto that chair. So if your balance is compromised, we're just gonna go from side to side, holding onto the chair. You've got the option to bring in some arms. And now we're gonna step back and in, back and in, back and in, back and in. So as we're stepping back, we're pushing the heel down. Now sink down into the leg and take a foot to the side. So we're just stepping from side to side. Two more of these. And now let's roll our shoulders up, back and down. Remember, if you need to just keep one hand on that chair, that's absolutely fine. And now just lift and lower both of the shoulders. Option, as you lift, the 
shoulders lift those heels or you can keep the heels down lift and lower lift and lower come down this leg out in out in out in great job so this hip is back this leg is nice and still feeling some heat now because this leg is stabilizing switch legs Tap, tap, tap. Both legs are working. So this leg is your stabilizer. Core is working. Now come up and march, march. Flush out those legs. We should have a little bit of heat through those legs now. Start to bring out the legs wider. Do a wide march. Now bring them in, do a narrow march. And wide. And narrow. In, pick up those knees. Step out, drop the hips if you can, or keep it up. Again, lift. Step wide and lower. In, last time. A little warmer now. Keep the feet wide. Twist and reach and reach and reach. Keep going. Get a nice big stretch. If you want to hold on to the chair, just forget about the arms. Option up, 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 up. If you're using your chair, you're still doing the legs, but you've still got that chair for stability. I'm going to stay this way so you can see me. Front leg, out and in. Out, in. Out, in. Great job. Out. Squeeze your glutes. Now switch legs. Out, in, out. In, out, in. Last one. Narrow march. Wide march. Narrow. And wide. Now, out, in, change, out, in, change. We step wide, we step narrow. Alternate the knees in leg. Working into those legs. Great job. And now, arms. So rotate through your waist. If you're holding onto that chair and you don't feel confident enough to let go, just twist the hips. Twist. If you can, add the punch. If you want to get that heart rate up, bring up those arms. So taking the arms up is going to get that heart rate up. Reach, reach, reach. Now circle. Now you can hold on and do one arm, or you can let go and do both arms. You choose. If you're holding on, change the arm and hold on with the other arm and circle the other arm. If you're doing both arms, just keep going. Nice and warm through our shoulders. Legs get a break. Relax the arms, hold on to your chair. Step out the feet, go down and up. So your knees are gonna come over your toes. Your back is gonna be long. And you imagine you're gonna sit down and then you change your mind and you push through your heels. 
to make it harder, add in some arms, reach, keep going, stretch, remember if you're using that chair for support, forget everything I'm saying about the arms, just do the legs. And march it out. As you march in, roll the shoulders. Roll the shoulders backwards. Now roll the shoulders forwards. 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 We're going to step on this leg. Step, knee, change. Step, knee. Step, knee. So because we're bringing in our knee, we are working our tummy muscles, so your back is long and your shoulders are down. We're also sinking into our leg, so it's going to really work our thighs and because we're moving, the heart rate is coming up. Now you can keep going or add some arms, you choose. I'll show you the options again. So it's very much going on your current fitness levels. You might find that you have to hold onto the chair the first few times that you do it. And then if you just keep going, you'll probably find that you can start to let go as you get stronger. Now we do a curl and a heel dig. Now, if you've got some light weights handy, feel free to use them. Heel down, toes up. Squeeze the front of the arm. Now bring up the arms, out, in. So your arms, your elbows are in an L shape. Now, if you're feeling a little bit breathless, lose the legs and just do the arms. Squeeze the chest. Another set, open, squeeze, open, squeeze. Tummy is tight. Hold, now, up and pull, up and pull. Reach, squeeze and pull. Can you feel your back muscles? Hopefully you're nice and warm. Squeeze. One more set. Squeeze. 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 Keep going. If you need to miss some reps, that is fine. And march. Now as you march, circle your shoulders back. Circle your shoulders forward. Good job, side to side bend. Remember, you can hold onto your chair if your balance isn't quite there yet. Lovely stretch to the sides. Now bring this heel forward, lift your toe, push your hip back. Lovely stretch down the back of the thigh. And now switch the leg, heel down, hip back. Coming back to the first leg, bring your heel to your bum, get a lovely stretch. So this is your quad, feel that stretch through your quad. And change sides, stretch the other quads. And now take the hands in the small of your back. Open the chest. Now tuck in the chin, round of your upper back. Oh, that feels nice. And now bring one arm across the body. Shoulders are away from your ears. 
and we switch sides, bring it across. Step the feet in, take a nice deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Do that twice more, deep breath in, stretch. Breath out, relax. Last one. And put your hands together, great job. Hope you enjoyed the workout. Hope you're feeling a little bit looser now, that you're nice and warm. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for joining me today.